I'm going to briefly explain how you can hook up the, your DMX just using the one cable from Lightorama, the RJ45 to XLR3 pin. I just got it from Lightorama. Here it is. Then also you need your USB RS-485 also from Lightorama. And of course your DMX device, which I will be using my moving headlight. All right, let's go ahead and hook up our connections. We'll start with the cord going into your DMX device. Of course, it goes on the DMX in, obviously. Put that. Put those two together. So I made 11 channels because my DMX is 11 channel moving head. So to add, add your lines, preview design, add, add a DMX device. It asks you how many channels, universe, what channel basically, universe. Um, I don't add as a group because um, you can give it your name. Since I already got those all added, that's how you do it. Then you'll come up with 11 channels such as this. Hit save. And then you should have 11 channels. I'll start with, let's go ahead and open up your network preferences. And click on the DMX tab, which it's already open. Now you want to find your adapter. Most likely when you open it, it's going to say none. Obviously, click down, find your adapter. Click OK. You want to open, DX, open DMX raw on that and hit apply. Then OK to close the box. What you need is your user manual. I got the Pocket Pro here. Um, go down and find, I'm gonna use 11 channel on this one. It's got 11 or 13 channels. And I'm gonna find my 11 channel mode. This is gonna tell me how I'm gonna set it up. My channel one's pan movement, channel two's tilt movement. And then I got channel three, which shows my colors. You definitely need that so you know what to, how to set up or program it on the Lightorama. So let me go ahead and actually erase all this. So here's what we're gonna do. Since my channel one, that's my pan movement, my channel two, that's my tilt movement and channel three, that's my collar. So we're gonna come over here and click on create DMX. And then this box pops up, says DMX intensity. We're gonna click that. Now it's already at 175, which that's what I'm gonna use for my pan movement. So I'm just gonna use about six seconds worth. I'm gonna highlight the whole area and you can see how it filled in. Um, you can also hold your mouse over where it says intensity. I guess it's hard, let me see. Okay, here we go. Intensity where it says 175, that's how you know you, you got what you want. Then I'm gonna do on number two, which is your tilt movement. I'll do the same thing. 175 it goes all the way up to 255 you got to use your manual and then over here on number three here's your colors i'm gonna go with i don't know orange so i'm gonna go to 21. so what i'm gonna do is go to my intensity and set up 0 21 and I'll put that on my number three. So my light that will be on will come out 
orange. Try it again. It will be orange. Okay, now I even forgot myself. Now it's 21, you can't even see the line, but hold your cursor over it. And the box pops up intensity 21. You will not see any lines, but that's how you know you got it. Your intensity is at 21, you can't see anything. So I, I forgot myself, like I said, I'm new to this. And uh, I'm just getting set. Um, number four is your global wheel, which is this. You can set different patterns. Um, you can do that. I'm not gonna do that just for this purpose. So here's all the gobo numbers. Uh, number five is shutter strobe. Um, I need to have it open so the light will shine. So I'm gonna use 015 on number the fifth channel. So let's go over here to my DMX intensity, 015. And then I wanna get channel five, about six seconds. Again, you probably won't see nothing. Hold your mouse over and it says 15. So yeah, something's there. Number six is my dimmer, which if I go back to my manual, it's from zero to 255, zero to 100%. So obviously I'm gonna use 255 because also I don't want it dimmed. And that's my six channel. So I'll just go to channel six, highlight that whole row. And it basically, you can see this one because it uses the whole boxes, 255. Now seven, seven and eight, it's pan tilt micro. And uh, so I'm not gonna use it. Dimmer curves is nine, pan tilt this channel 10 and 11 special function, which I'm not gonna use. So those are the just beginning ones. I think you should be getting the idea by now. Um, let's see what we got. Let me go ahead and turn this on. It's self-adjusting and it should go to channel one for my universe one right here. Okay, now that we added some things to our sequencer, sequencer, <laughs> I'm gonna check uh, my comms listener Listener, sequencer, okay, wiring, it looks like it's it's listening, doing its job. Then we're gonna come over here to now we're gonna come over here to our control lights tab. We want to make sure we got a DMX one universe ready to control lights. Hit control lights. And we can control, close that one. So now we're ready to hit play all and everything should work. And that's all it takes. And of course, you want to change different colors, use different intensities and everything else, then now you can mess around. But I hope this clears up a few things. 
Um, I'm not a pro at DMX at all. I'm just beginning, but I have not yet found a video out here that helps on just using the one cable from Lightorama. So have fun. I don't think I can answer anybody's questions because I'm not that good at DMX just beginning. So we'll talk to you later.